guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site. Links in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Blondie. And that's fun. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. So I know I'm pretty darn late in reviewing this track. But it's been a busy past week with birthdays, events and all sorts happening on the site. And just in my personal life. So I'm just getting around to it now. So should we see what I thought of this brand new track? Well, as far as I already know know this track has been critically panned and brought through the dirt by many acclaimed critics around the web but I really didn't think it was that bad. Sure it's a little bit bland and uninspired in certain areas and sections but perhaps not matching up to the modern competition in that sense but it's really nowhere near as bad as many other tracks that have been released this past fortnight or so i think the mixing is pretty good i think the bass line is fairly fun i think the song form allows for a decent amount of variation and decoration in certain parts and it's really just not that bad at all i will say that debbie harry's voice is a little bit missing and she does sound very weak and cheesy but she is 73 years old don't forget so it's really not that bad Production wise the song is thick, the low end is full and each area just sounds fairly pristine actually. It's gone through a really good production cycle. The guitar has a clean tone that is both juicy as well as quirky. The bass is deep with enough impact to just drive the pulse as well so it's not completely edgeless which is what I, I you know I have a personal preference towards. The drums sound really quite good for a pop bass group or a pop grace production rather with the kick in particular adding some further depth to that pulse I mentioned earlier. And the vocals sure do sound tampered with Yes, but again, they really aren't that bad. I even like the choice of synths slash organs they played in that final section, this sort of big climactic section they had. But I would have perhaps liked to even have heard them turned up just a little bit as they're a little bit faint in the background. My main faults just lie around how they try to mask Debbie's lack of power with some almost cloudy sounding dual panning. It was a clever idea and it could have worked, but it just perhaps wasn't executed in the right way. When it comes to the musicality of the track, even though it's a little bit generic and perhaps just a really bad cover of what Jamiroquai are currently producing over the last sort of three or four weeks or so with their new album coming out very soon, I thought it was more than functional. I mean, the bass line is funky and memorable. The guitar plays a simplistic yet memorable little phrase throughout the track. The drums are functional, adding some decoration on the occasional transition, which is more than can be said for many pop groups. The song form allowed for a bridge, which broke things up very nicely in an accurate and precise way and I really don't see why people are so mad about this track. I did think the vocal melody needed some heavy duty work as it was incredibly monotonous and didn't do Debbie any favours but again it's really just not that bad I have to keep re-illustrating that. Lyrically the song is functional and a little cheesy at times yes I do admit that but there is an original flavouring in there that is reminiscent of some earlier Blondie material which I personally found fairly fun to listen to so all in all a track that has been unfairly well very unfairly in fact scrutinized and panned by people who I think are just looking to be critical over something which everybody is expected to not like just because it's one of those sort of comeback type songs. It's not great or memorable, I will admit that, but it's not bad and I think fans will really like this track and it's great to see the group still going strong when, you know, some members are into their 70s now. That's impressive stuff. So I gave it a G rating of 5.5 out of 10. If you like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.